Welcome. This intro covers your first steps in Osho UV6. We'll begin by making a quick recording of the whole screen, just to see the app in action, and then take you through a few quick concepts. Right, let's record something. Out of the box, Osho U will show its simple interface. So, look at the bottom and press the big red button. That starts a recording. Okay, we'll wait for the countdown. And then we'll wait a few seconds. Go up to the menu bar where there's a timer showing and choose stop recording. Congratulations, you've made your first screen recording. Now to look at that, go up to where it says recent recordings, which is this little icon here. And you can either show it in Finder or open it. Oh, it's more on a different desktop. Let me move that across. And here's our recording. So I'll just play that. And here we are. I show you V6 has two user interfaces. They are called Simple and Pro. I'm showing Simple here. Simple, as its name implies, gives you a simpler UI, where everything is on one page. The idea is you tell I show you what you want, and whether you want a microphone or, say, application audio, in other words, what to record, and then just hit a big red button down below. To look at the Pro View, you can select that from the View menu or press Shift Command P. Pro Mode gives you full control. It exposes all of the layers and it lets you compose whatever you'd like. Just to give you an idea, you can drop down and add a variety of layers. Here are all the screens that are connected. I could choose to record applications or a single window or just a selected area. This next list are all your video devices. So I have a, a couple of cameras. I've got uh, cameras on the phone and then uh, various audio devices or if you like images or an empty layer. Right, let's move back into simple mode and check out how to record just an area of the screen. On the right side, you'll see there is a crop button I'm just hovering over that here. If you click that, you'll get a selection rectangle on the screen uh, I've just got this picture of some uh, caramel sauce. So I'm going to drag the selection around until it's about right. Then I'm going to press enter. So you'll notice now, if we move over, you'll see that the uh, area to record is listed and there's this blue uh, cropped indicator. Now, if you record, that is exactly what you'll get. And in simple mode, it changes the canvas to match so that you get a perfectly sized recording of what you selected. This brings us to the canvas, which is a new idea in iShow UV6. Canvas is an important idea to get your head around, so reread or re listen to this section a couple of times, to make sure it's stuck in your head. All previous iShow U products output a video of which the size was whatever you selected. So if you selected an area, say 780 by 540, then that was the size of the video that was output. V6 is different. There's a canvas onto which whatever is captured or positioned or composited, that canvas has a size that is the size of the movie. So uh, and that size, it has nothing to do with what you put onto it. So you can capture, you could have a 4K canvas, you could capture a screen onto it, you could put a, uh, an image or a, uh, some text or uh, another camera shot or whatever, iPhone, and it all just gets composited into a 4K movie. Now, and there I'm talking about pro mode. Simple mode, I show you, takes care to change the canvas for you. So in that last example where we set a crop area, and we selected and we recorded just a part of the screen, um, simple mode made sure to set the canvas uh, to that size, which means you get a, a perfectly sized output, which is what you want. So why does it exist? Because it doesn't seem to be helping me, I hear you cry. Well, as I mentioned before, it exists so that layer-based capture makes sense. With layer-based capture, you could have many layers, screen, camera, logo, so on. Where do you paint them all? And the answer to that is onto a canvas. Now I'll do a much more in-depth tutorial on this later, but I just wanted to highlight that it's a major difference in V6. Um, 
this this idea of the canvas and so keep that in mind um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in another video